Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Oh my goodness, look, I decorated the bunny composition book. If you missed yesterday's video, this book underneath is a composition book. You know, the ones that you can buy, buy basically anywhere. It has the lined pages in inside, and in the video, we used a paper pad and we covered front, back, and inside and made a couple of pockets. We also put in our tabs. Now, if you missed that video, go ahead and check it out. It is the easiest way I have found to cover one of these composition books. This one, I used a digital from Chapter One Papers. But in the examples, others that I have to show you, they are from a paper pad. And I've got Sari Silk from Crimson Heart Studios. I will link her shop down below. Some uh, silk petals from a flower. A little rosette there in a peach. There's even some thread here and some flat back pearls. And of course the little cutout with the book page and some nice thick lace here and a nice little strip of flat back pearls. I do love how it has turned out. Inside we have our envelope pocket with our family of bunnies and as you can see my pages are completely flat. I said that if you just set something on top they will flatten out because I did use, well, this to do the pages here, we used a glue stick. But a lot of my others, I went ahead and I used wet glue. So you can use definitely the glue of your choice. So there's that example. Now let me bring in yesterday. Now we made <coughs> and covered this one yesterday together. And now it looks just like this after it has sat. I did go ahead and I popped on the pocket, uh, which is an envelope. And these are our little pages with our tab. I love the blue. I think it's turned out lovely. Now, I have pulled out some things that I still haven't decided what I want to decorate this with. So I thought maybe these little hearts could be on the, uh, the envelope pocket. I'm not sure. They don't really pop for me. So I'm still trying to figure out what to put on the envelope. But I have a few things that I'd like to try out just to see how they might look. And they're all different digitals and pieces that I've gotten different places. I don't, that one's not bad. Oops, too many at once. This one's pretty, but it's pink. See, I'm, I just don't know. That one's not bad. That one's not bad at all. There's this one, but it's pink. And I really just don't want to do pink. I would, I don't know why these are here. <laughs> they don't, I didn't select them. So with all that said, I'm still not sure how I want to decorate this one. But I do know how I want to decorate this one. <laughs> Yeah, I have quite a few. They're easy and they're so much fun to make. I love the cover of this. Now that came out of that paper pad that we used yesterday. This is pretty green. And these are the envelopes that I covered for this project. Now I have some gorgeous uh, hearts. And my ephemera... Mm, I have to look and see my ephemera. Let me look and see if it's written on yesterday's sheet. It wasn't. I will. I will look that up. I do know where this came from. I just can't remember my ephemera. Something. I thought that would be pretty. 
because we're going to use this gorgeous green one on the front. So I think that would be really lovely on the inside. So that's what we're going to do for the inside. And then for the outside, I thought that we could use, isn't that pretty on there? Mm -hmm. I think that is really lovely. I've got some Sorry Silk from Crimson Heart Studios, and I have some crinkled seam binding from my scrap cabin shop. So I'm not sure. I think I could use a combination of the two. I'm not sure yet. I think I want to use some of that paint, that gold paint. Now this happens to be folk art enamel gold. So it's just, you know, the inexpensive paint that you can pick up at Walmart or the craft shop. I've got some flat back gold beads. I thought those would be lovely. And I do have some of the flat back pearls and some of the black ones, but I don't know that we'll use those. I think the first thing that I would like to do is I'd like to put some gold down on this. Now I'm thinking I might want to grab a, I want to grab a, a brush. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Grab a brush. Okay. All right. So I grabbed a brush. It's just a um, very, very inexpensive brush. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to apply some paint right down here on my glass mat. <coughs> Excuse me. Just like that. And then Let's see, I don't know that I want to do my book, but I do want to do a little bit on the edge of this heart. Now, I have already inked it up, and I'm just brushing this gold onto the heart, and I'm not trying to be real careful about... Um, how to put it on, although, you know, I don't want to just do it so poorly that it's not going around the, the heart shape. So I'm kind of using the very top part of this brush. I'm just applying the paint like this. Oh, I do think that's going to look lovely. Just like that. A little bit more paint. I love uh, gilding these things. I think it just brings them to another level. This uh, print on this heart and the shape of this heart I find to be very elegant. But then when we add the gold gilding paint, it's just basically paint. I just think it just really makes it pop. I'm going to add it a little heavier down here at the bottom. Just to make the bottom a little heavier looking. I'm going to bring it back up like this. Okay. I love it. So it's not difficult um, because you're not trying to be perfect. You know, if you're trying to be perfect, yeah, it'd be difficult, but we're not. We're not trying to be perfect at all. All right. That looks just like that, and I need to set that to dry. So I need to set it where I don't care if it gets gold somewhere. Now, do I want to add maybe any gold anywhere else? That I'm just not sure that I want to do, especially yet. I can't decide. So if I can't decide, maybe it's best not to. However, how about if we do the hearts that are going to go on the envelope pockets. Yeah, 
I think that would be great. It would definitely tie it all together. Now, if you're not good with the holding a brush, you can use your finger. I just um, thought that it would make it easier for me to get this on here. But you can, you can use your finger, and I've done it many times using my finger to apply the gold. Goodness gracious, this really brings it to a new level. Now, I think you've seen me do this enough that you can tell what this is going to look like and how to do it. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do finish this one and do this one, and then we'll continue. Oh, look how pretty it looks on there with the gold. I think that definitely elevates it. Now, let's bring in our little pieces here. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I have got this that I think goes beautifully with it. And do I want to use it this wide or do I want to take it down a little bit? I'm not sure. It is awfully wide. I'm thinking of gathering it. Do I want it going around the bottom? Do I want it to go around the bottom and the top? I also have some laces. Um, I spent yesterday going through this big drawer that I had, and I let me tell you, it was just a disastrous mess with all kinds of things. <laughs> pieces and laces and all kinds of things stuck in it and I spent a long time packaging everything up so that I can use it. I don't know if I want to use this. I just thought the color was nice. Um, I don't even know what direction I want this this little piece to go in but my goodness, that is pretty with it, isn't it? Just kind of laying it out to see where, there's another little tiny piece of it, where this might, little pieces of it look really good on there. Here's that wedding dress, that uh, lace that has um, been coffee dyed. No, I think this, even though there's that color right there, I think this really, and this is a shirt that I had that I cut up a long time ago and have been using ever since. So I like that a lot. I have um, some lace in here. This is that lace that I used with the bunnies. And... Is there, how much is there here of this lace? This is nice. It looks very regal. Looks like little crowns, doesn't it? You could put, I don't know, we're just playing around here, guys. I'm not sure at all. Do I like that, this lace on it? So if that's what we might do, then do we want, oopsie, just laying it out because this is my process that I have to do. Do I want to lay this out and gather that on that side? Or do we want to put this down this way, like this? And maybe have this gathered here? Or do we want to lay this out completely like, like this and then put this on top of it? Oh, I just messed that up. Let's see here. If I can get this laid out to where we can maybe see it with this underneath. I'm thinking I might need to iron this. If I iron it, then it would... Um, how wide would it be? It would be fairly wide. 
maybe we should cut on this a little bit more. My goodness, that's hard. <laughs> maybe let's see. Let's get these scissors. These are little Tim Holtz scissors. Yeah, they're sharp. If you ever buy Tim Holtz scissors, let me warn you, they're sharp. First time I bought my first pair, I cut myself pretty bad. So do be careful. I love them. as the scissors that I use. Not those orange pair that I had just a minute ago, but these and those really tall ones that I have. And then I have the medium size. I have all sizes. I really do like them. But they will cut you. They are not forgiving in that department. I don't know. I, I have no idea, you guys. You know, you think you have kind of a plan. My plan was to use this. Oh, I kind of like it all spaced out like that. Was to use this heart and to put the gold on it. That's about as far as I got. Oh, and I picked this Sorry Silk and the Crinkled Seam Binding. And that's about as far as I got with that project, with deciding what to do. Just looking at it, seeing where I could trim it and how. If we place these around at different locations, I kind of like this look. I don't know why I like it. It's kind of different, but I do like it. Um, no, I have no explanation on what it is. It's just, I do like it. Okay, so so now let's go back to um, <laughs> let's go back where? I don't know. Where are we going back to, Kathy? I have no clue. Let's go and um, Let's see here. If I take this off, like that, I'll cut them down in all kinds of little pieces here. I kind of like that strange, you know, hodgy podgy looking thing. I do like that. I will admit that I do like it. Here are some very thin, uh, lightweight lace. That could be an option. That's pretty on there, isn't it? That's real pretty on there. Okay, so now where would I use the sari and the crinkled seam binding. Uh, do I want a bow on this? Let's see, we're not going to use this heavy. So I can put the heavy back in. See, I'm so not used to putting things away. And my craft room is almost pretty much empty. I gutted it last night. This is in the house, not the studio. Because, you know, I'm getting my new equipment. And by this weekend, I'll have a new camera in here and a large TV screen that I can see what I'm doing, what, you, what you're seeing. And I'll have that in place. And then I have to uh, get my laptop upgraded. And uh, I'm just looking to see. I think it goes this way. Upgraded. And then I'll put the, this camera that I'm using right now out in my studio. And then we can start filming in both locations. I'm so excited about that. So excited. But if you could see, now my craft, my studio in here, in the house, it looks fantastic. But then you go out to the living room. <laughs> 
everything is just in there. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. So, ah, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it. I guess it just has to get messy before it gets clean. I've been doing uh, my YouTube videos for quite a while now. And now, in the beginning, I really didn't know what I wanted to use and how I wanted to use it. And I really, you know, I hadn't found myself yet. Well, I do believe I found myself. <laughs> and, um, and now I know what I can let go of and I can, you know, move some things around so that I can have more space and just the things that I use a lot and not these things that I never use ever. That's kind of a waste. Okay, back to this. I, I'm loving that. I think that looks fantastic. I'm kind of thinking that I need to trim this down and cut it in half. This feels so wonderful. It is the softest it's just so soft. I can't even explain how wonderful this feels. Well, I don't know if it's going to... Whoop. I'm going to have to cut it. It's not going to tear. It's, now I've got this. Now this is, a, this is different. This is a different color too. I want this dark color. I really want this color. So it's not going to um, tear for me, which is really quite interesting. So maybe... I can take my big scissors here. Now these are fabric scissors. Serious fabric scissors. And I'm just seeing if I can cut this in half well enough to, you know, not be veering off to the side and actually get it cut in half. It would help if you would iron it, Kathy, but I kind of want the crinkles in it. I kind of want those crinkles. I'm thinking if we I don't know. How about this? How about if we go all around the edge with this color? Okay, all right, so what I want to do is I'm just going to pop that up just a little bit and I'm going to, um, I'm going to trim this off right here. I don't know, it's kind of messed up right there. And I'm going to pucker this like I like to do. Turn it so I can get it to where and I'm always do just a little section at a time. I'm using my hot glue gun. And when using your hot glue gun, you, you don't want to put too much glue down that you can't handle uh, before it dries because then your items won't stick on. How are we liking that? Oh, I like it. That looks yummy. All right, so I'm going all the way around, you guys. That might take me a moment to get that all the way around, but look how pretty that's looking. So just a little bit of glue, and I'm just pinching, slowly pushing the fabric, and it glides on that uh, glue. Now, you can use fabric tack for this exact same process and it will just glide on the glue and you just push it to give it these little pleats. It's not hard. Take your time and if you put just a little bit of glue down at a time, it will make you take your time. Okay. Oh, let's look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm loving this. All right, so now I do think I want these pieces as crazy as it is. I kind of like them all crazy, <laughs> the craziness of it. I think I want to glue this down now 
do I want to glue this down, this heart, and get these pieces glued on? I'm thinking I want this over here maybe more. I do love this. Okay, let's glue our heart down. I think that's the first thing that we need to get glued down. And do I want to raise it a tad? I'm not sure. Once I pick it up and put it back down, it's going to be totally different. You know it is. I'm using my Art Glitter Glue. And I'm just applying my glue onto my heart. like that and then we're going to pop it right on to this Lean it up see if I can get it positioned I'm just tapping it down I don't want to rub it I've got that paint on there and yeah the paint's dry but you know it's not it's not dry enough to where I'd care to rub on it. You know what I mean? I, and I just don't want to push it and have it come up. So I think I'm going to glue this piece down right here. So adding my glue directly to my lace. And so if I get this popped in, maybe something like this. Okay, I always come back and, and get that glued down more if I think it needs to be. It should keep this straight. Let's get this piece glued down. My little shirt has never looked better. <laughs> I never wore it much. I don't know, it was one of those that you like it in the store and then you get it home and it's like, hmm, where did I buy this? But yet, you still don't take it back. <laughs> yeah, well, it was kind of one of those items. All right, I think I want that one there. Okay. It, this is a strange little, uh, little piece, but I love it. Now... I'm not sure that it's going to work going up like this because I just glued that one down right there. Should have glued that on top. I'm seeing if I can pop it so I can get this glued on top. Yeah, I think I can do it. Okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and I'm going to turn it this way so I can get my fingers to do what I want them to do. And let's keep going. Now, which way do I want to turn this? Turn it like that or turn it like this? I think I need to turn it like that. I'm going to put some glue on the edge so it's definitely glued down on the edge. Like that. And let's get ourselves going here. Okay, I keep going. Some more to do here. Okay, yeah, it's going to fit just fine. Yeah, because that, that's not even glued down right there. I can get that underneath there fine. I've got a little glue while I'm working that underneath that piece. Okay, I don't want to get too far over the edge of the book itself because we have our tabs and I want to be able to see our tabs. Here's that little piece I shouldn't have glued down quite yet, but I can get under there. I can get under there. So just a little bit of glue to get me going here. And I'm going to stick this, I want this to be on top. Mm -hmm. I want 
not to be on top, not to be underneath. So I'm going to go this direction, guys. Just a little bit of puckering underneath there. Okay. Yeah, that'll be perfect. It's got a lot of strings here <clears throat> that I really need to trim. And we'll just get that glued down. We'll be fine. Going up this way. This isn't at all the look that I thought this was going to have. I love how things evolve and take on a life of their own. I just find that to be exciting. And so then a project turns out totally different than what you had envisioned. Because I did not envision little pieces of that... Um, Brocade? Is that what that is? I'm not sure of the word for it. I never envisioned little pieces of those on the paper, on the front cover. Yeah, that was not part of, of what I saw in the beginning, but that definitely evolved, and I love it. I just love it. I think it's very special and very unique. We're at the corner now, and so I'm trying to get this sorry to um, to do what I want. Now let's turn it back. Oh, don't move all my pieces. It's a puzzle. Don't want to move my pieces. We've got that glued down. See that just looks perfect, just perfect there. Um, and I'm going to. I think I can go ahead and glue this. I'm going to take that little piece off. I don't want that piece on there. And I think I would like this one to be here. That one's going to go there. That one's going to go up there. So we're not, I learned my lesson. We're not going to glue those down yet. Um, <clears throat> I think that needs to turn like that maybe. Maybe something like that. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so different. Okay, let's get this down. So, adding my glue to my lace. I'm going to pop it on about right there. Okay, and then this. Add our glue. Pop this on about right there. Okay. Now, there's plenty to finish this off. Which way do I need to take it from my fingers? I think this way. Now we need to, <clears throat> excuse me, get some glue on this corner here. And get this corner pleated in the way that will look good. I need to kind of open this up just a little bit more if I can. I love this color. This color is wonderful. So I'm just pleating and then the uh, bit more. You know, it's it's not a fast process. It's a slow process, but it's very enjoyable. Um, pleating this like this, I just really enjoy doing pleats. I guess that's why I do them all the time because I really like them. I like making them. I like how they look once it's finished. And you don't need any tools. You got your tools right there on your your hands, your tools. So now if you don't want to use your hand, you could use like a card and you could push 
with the card like that, you could do that. So that that would work too. If you don't want to use your hands, you could use a card. I just tend to use my hands. Um, but there's another way. There's always different ways of doing things. And you do it the way you enjoy doing it. Not because, you know, that's how so-and-so does it. No, you do it how you enjoy to do it. So if you're not enjoying using your fingers, try the card method. Maybe that's the method for you. All right. So we're right here at the end. <clears throat> One more little pleat here. And then let's give it a trim. Oop, don't pull your things off, Kathy. Let's give it a trim. Now, let's go whee, all the way around again. And then let's look at how this is going to go up here. I'm just getting all the pieces of glue. You know how the glue does. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not sure about right there, right there, all of a sudden right there. It's like, what's happening right there? We could put a bow right there. We could. This is the crinkled seam binding by My Scrap Cabin Shop. Now, there's going to be a discount down below that you can use. And just beautiful colors. Oh yeah, we're just going to put a bow right there. Perfect. All right, so before we can put our bow, we need to finish gluing down our pieces. So let's get them glued down. Okay, I'll go back and I will check these pieces and really get them glued on well. Right now we're just getting them glued on so they stay. See the camera. Oh, I think it's looking fantastic. Now, what I want to do with the heart is I want to put some of these flat back pearls on here. Now, I know I want to put, you know, I have some larger ones right here. And I want to put a large one right here. And a large one right here. Okay. <clears throat> I think I want to put maybe, we'll try three. And I think I want these smaller ones. And so I need to separate them so that I can pick them up with my finger. Because once I put down my glue, I need to put a bead on it. Okay, or maybe just two, one on each side. I'm not sure. This is definitely a work in progress. Whoops. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that. I think just one on either side. And I'm not sure I want one on the bottom. We could try it out and see what we think. Just give it a try and see. Do we want to do that or we just want it on the top? Or maybe we want more on the bottom. I don't know what we want. Uh, let's see. Let's get this on there. Oh yeah. We need it on the bottom, and we need uh, more on the bottom. So I'm going to do like that, just like I had it laid out. So a little bit of glue, and then the bead, and a little bit of glue, and the bead. A little bit of glue, <laughs> and the bead, and a little bit of glue. the bead. There we go. Oh my goodness, yes. I think that looks, somebody's blowing my 
phone up. It's my husband. He's out of town. Let me check it for just a second, and then we're going to put the bow right there on the top. It's going to be gorgeous. All right, you guys. So it actually was a good thing that my husband called because it allowed me to go through this ju these jewelry pieces that I have to figure out what I want to use for the bow that's going to go right here in the middle with this crinkled sari silk, which is ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I tried this one. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's okay. I tried this one. These are the three that I said, okay. But then I've got these dangle earrings. Oh my gosh, that's that's it. This dangled earring, that's the piece that I think is going to work. So what I want to do is I've got some of that thread. Um, it's six cord, six cord. I got it in the sewing department at Hobby Lobby. It's Egyptian cotton, HH Elizabeth, size 20. Okay, that's that's what it is. And <clears throat> it's very much like that thread that I was using. So no one could find that thread because it was vintage. But you can find this because I bought it not too awful long ago. I'm going to leave myself a tassel. Um, maybe about that long. And I'm just going to make some loops. Just looping and looping. I know it kind of might look like a just a blob. But we're going to try this out. And we're going to see if... This will work. Bigger loops. We're going to make bigger loops. So, bigger loops. Here we go. A bigger loop. A bigger loop. I don't know if I want to put, sorry, silk behind it. That cream, that beautiful cream that we use. Now, I've got the thread. I don't know if you can see it there. I'm going to cut myself off a nice size piece, and I'm going to double it pick it up right here. So it's doubled. I'm going to lay it over my thumb and I'm going to get it so I can tie this into a knot. I had to use my teeth there guys. <laughs> okay and I got that tied. Now let's cut the streamer. Okay, so there's the middle right there of the bow. Do we want just this? Whoop! <laughs> it's like a spring. Do we want just this? Or do we want a little bit of heaviness with it? There's some more of this that I have. And let's, let's see, I think I want to use this side. I don't know why, but let's do a couple of loops, another loop, maybe two loops. And then let's put this together. So we're using sorry silk and crinkled seam binding in the bow together. Yeah, that's what it needs. I've already tied it. Oh, I've tied the sorry silk bow. So I've got these strings. Okay. Now I'm just going to tie another knot with the same strings that I tied the bow with the crinkle, sorry, silk. If I can get this back up in here. There we go. Now, how's this looking? Oh, it looks so good. Okay, turn this off. <clears throat> Let's get, I don't know that I want the strings showing. We might be cutting these strings off. Usually I leave the strings. I'm not sure I want the strings this time. Um, I'm just positioning this, and I'm going to say this is about the center. 
So I'm going to add my glue and I'm going to lay my bow right on there. There's the center of the bow. You can see the center of the bow. Goodness gracious. I don't know. Maybe I do like the strings. I don't know. I don't think the strings maybe have the look that this this whole thing is having. So, strangely enough, I'm cutting them off. I usually leave them, and I usually like them. But this time, I just didn't think that it went with the theme. But what I do have is this, it's a pair, it's an earring. I have a pair of them, but this is one. And I thought I could glue it right in the center. So what I want to do is I need to cut, I think, Cut this um, off. Yeah, let's. We have to cut the um, the end of the 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 earring. We're gonna have to cut it down a little bit. I mean, like trash can. Well, that one. Wow, that is some strong. There we go. Finally, there. I got it in my trash can now. So now I've cut this down. So now it's like this. Can you see that? There we go. And I'm going to stick it right here. I want to glue it. But first I'm going to stick it to see. I think I'm going to need to tell this loop to um, maybe calm down. <laughs> oh goodness, I think that's going to look great when we get that on there. Okay, now let's try the others just to make sure. There's this one. This is a, a pin. There's this. I like the size, but I don't want the color. I don't like the black. And then there's this. It's also a pin. You know what? That one shows up a little better. Can we just pin it on? I mean, instead of gluing, can we just pin it? I don't know. We can try. Now I would have to glue it. But what do you think, you guys? I'm kind of thinking maybe this one. Boy, you talk about fancy. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love this process. I love decorating it with you. I love how it's turned out. I hope that you have enjoyed it too. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.